In this video, we're going to look at the use of mail merge that you can find in Microsoft packages and how we can go about taking information from an Excel spreadsheet and using it to generate individualized emails. Now we're going to be using it in the context of the feedback generator. So the emails that we're going to send will be individualized feedback for my students on my magical course. Now the spreadsheet we're going to use for our mail merge has come from my feedback generator. We have a number of different videos that explain how this was put together and the links are in the description below and will show up at the end. It's important when generating your spreadsheets that the first row has the individual column names that we're going to use for the mail merge later on. First of all, we have the student's user number, their first name and their last name. Using data validation, we were able to pick a given mark and statement depending on what the student has done. We then generated and extracted the mark using this value here, this formula here. This gave us our total mark for that individual student, which by the use of a VLOOKUP table, we monitored and extracted from our overall summary a statement that described that student's work. And then we used that to generate combined feedback. The final thing that we're going to need is an email address that we can, so we can send this to our student at the end. So to do that, I've created an email column within my Excel spreadsheet and to generate that I've taken the student ID, I've used the AND command which from the concatenate video you'll remember will allow us to stitch information together and then in quotation marks I have the final email address for my unseen university. So what this has done is generate the individual emails addresses from my student IDs. Now that we have the spreadsheet set up with information in individual columns, we can go ahead and start creating our mail merge. Now to do this, you're going to need to open up Word. In Word, I've written a basic holding email that I'm going to populate with the individual information from my spreadsheet. So it's going to say, dear student, it's going to have my combined feedback statement, the overall mark, and then the individual feedback for each of the questions. To get the mailing to work, we're going to click up here on mailings. We're then going to select recipients. We're going to use an existing list. This is going to be the Excel spreadsheet that we'd already set up. Now my spreadsheet is in a folder on my desktop. Here it is. That's my feedback generator. And then Excel is going to ask me which of the sheets in there that I'd like to use. And so the one I'm going to use is the mark sheet, which I've called Alternative Setup. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to associate individual columns with sections. To do that, we're going to use the Insert Mail Merge field. First thing is the first name. So it says, Dear First Name. Then we're going to have the summary statement. Then we're going to have the final mark. And then underneath, we're going to place the feedback for question one, and then the feedback for question two. So each one of these individual fields is going to get drawn in from my spreadsheet. If you want to see what this would look like to the students, if we click on Preview Results, and then slip through these arrows, we can see the individual feedback that the students will receive. So here's Constance, here's Manvera, Gandalfs, Merlin, and Rincewind. So each of these students will receive that individual email generated from our spreadsheet. The final thing to do is to finish and merge. So we're going to click on this one. We're going to send an email message. We're going to give it a title. And the Word document will look in our column. And if you've got one titled email, it will use that to send to the students. We're going to use records three, seven, because that's where my student data was. And when I click OK, the individual emails will be sent to the students.
So as an example, this would be the feedback that Merlin would receive, it has a standard statement at the top, the summary statement pulled in, the final mark, and then those statements that we generated from the data validation. If you'd like to go back and review how that feedback sheet was generated and we used data validation, VLOOKUP and concatenate to generate the feedback, then the links to those videos have just appeared on the screen.